Welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Flinkwitch Flockenstein and I'm the owner of a longboard company. I'm here today because I would like to look at the profit of my sales over time. I looked at my notes just now and I'm about to do it again after I did it again. And I'm going to look at the number of boards sold compared to the month of the year to find out when my peak amount of sales are and when they did the lowest. How am I going to do that? By finding the derivative. Real world application for the win. All right, so in order to look at the profit made from my sales from my longboard company when looking at the number of boards sold compared to what month of the year it is, we're gonna to need to know some background information. So we're gonna know that S is equal to the number of skateboards sold. All right, M equals the month of the year. And P equals profit. Now I also need to know two more things. The cost of production of each board is $30. However, each board is sold for $70. And that is what we need to know to start out this equation. So, now we're going to start out with S equals sine M and P equals 70S, that's how much the board is sold for, minus 30S which is how much it costs to produce it, and that equals 40s, and that is the amount of profit from each board, okay? Now, that also means p is equal to 40, the answer from here, times sine m, all right? And that is the exact equation we need uh, to, start, to start tracking the profit of when comparing the number of boards sold to what month of the year it is. So we can take any month, plug it into this equation, take the derivative, and that would be the final answer. And that is how taking the derivative of can be used in a real world application. What a relief. Now I can finally look at the profit of my sales from my longboard company and compare it to the number of boards sold depending on what month of the year it is. That's just one way you can use taking the derivative of a function and applying it to a real world problem, just like a business. I hope you check out some of the other videos on how to take the derivative of a function and apply it to your own real world application. I'll see you next time. Thank you.